Do you want eyes that sparkle and glow? This look is inspired by the colors of jewels, and it is a wearable look for all. So I already have my foundation on. I'll just be using Thermal Spring Water from Avian to freshen and set my face for makeup. My brows really need some fixing here. I'm gonna fill in my brows with an eyebrow pencil, and I don't like that it looks so harsh on me right now. So I'm gonna use a brow mascara to soften my entire look and keep it to yourself. Because this is a trick I use to match my hair color and to pull out my features. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer to prime my eyes. It is important that you have a good base, so the colors on your eyelids actually glistens and it lasts throughout the day. Before applying concealer. I would gently massage my eyes by tapping my dark circles. This promotes blood circulation and is actually good for your eyes. And before I forget, I'm using Secret Concealer from Laura Mercier. Today, I'm gonna sweep my lids with Maybelline Hypercosmos. I'm using LG1, a beautiful, beautiful marbleized blue on the inner corner of my eyes. On the center of my lids, I'm using Hypercosmo BU1. This shade of blue is not marbleized as you can see, but it is a beautiful iridescent shade of blue. It really makes your eyes pop, I promise. So I'm going back again, by patting the blue on the center of my lids, I'm actually intensifying the color. So for this tutorial, split your eyelids into three parts. The innermost corner is part 1, the center is of course part 2, and the outermost corner of your eyes give it part 3. I'm using CH1 on part 3, this is my favorite color in the Hypercosmo range. It is a stunning olive green color, marbleized with gold undertones. So I'm just smoking the color on the outer corner of my eyes, and I'm gonna pull the color back in to blend the two colors together. Then, taking the leftover color on your brush, apply on your lower lash line. Moving on, this is Hypercosmo WN1. You want to use the maroon color to create a smoky look. I'm not making it an intense purple shade because I want this look to be wearable for everyone. So I'm just gently blending the maroon color towards the center of my lids. Now watch as the maroon transforms into a dreamy color of the galaxy. If you did not get what I just did, simply place your fingers on your eyes like this. The V is a guide for the shape of your eyeshadow. My eyes have a dimension to them thanks to the brilliant marbleized eyeshadows. I don't wish to further overwhelm my eyes, so I'm choosing a matte white color to highlight my brow bone. I'm gently blending the matte white towards my upper lash line. This is to soften the colors on my lids.
next step is optional. I'm dabbing the inner corner of my eyes with the same matte white colour. This is to bring light to my eyes and to make me look fresher. Introducing Maybelline's Hyperglossy Liquid Liner. This to me is the bomb. Okay, let me tell you why. It is able to draw a vernal shiny line that is super sharp and super sleek. And it makes your eyes look very defined. Look at my eyes now, baby! And this step is optional as well. I'm using Maybelline Master Liner in black to tight line my eyes. This is to fill up the gaps which my liquid liner cannot reach. Then line your lower lash line. You want to make sure that the line is not drawn too intense so it doesn't overwhelm your entire look. Make a small wing at the outer corner of your eye. This is to extend the shape of your entire eye. The colours can be slightly stronger, so I'm heading back to add more colours to my eye. Using the same maroon shade, I'm darkening the outer corners, creating a deeper halo. <laughs> you know the drill. Curl your lashes and top it off with mascara. Here, I'm using Maybelline's Lashinista. I'm loving the hot pink packaging. What do you think? Hmm, it is a lengthening mascara that defies gravity so your lashes stay up all the way. Yes, you heard me right. All the way. How we end up this way? See me nervously pulling at my clothes and trying. And I'm gonna cheat with my demi lashes. For my cheeks, I want a soft romantic look. So I'm choosing a faded rosy blush. When I saw you here, but you held your pride like you should have held me. Another one of my best kept secrets, contouring. By shading my jawline and sides of my nose, it caused the shadow to dramatically slim down my face and sharpen my nose. It shows up in photos and you will think that someone has actually had to photoshop. While contouring gives miracles to your photos, highlighting is an instant facelift. Using my YSL Touche Eclat, I'm highlighting the bridge of my nose, cheekbones, and on my cupid's bow. I'm using Maybelline BB Lips to condition my awfully dry lips. Then it's time for lipstick. I'm mixing a rich shade of pink with a soft rosy shade of peach. I prefer to apply my lipstick on with a finger. Battles in your hands now. I'm heading back to highlight my cupid's bow and around my lips again. This is to dramatically pull the look of my lips out of my face. This also neatens any stains. Then you're good to go! Thank you so much for watching and sending you lots and lots of love from myself, VGY and Maybelline.